conversar acerca de distintos aspectos del mercado flexográfico de envases, nos acompaña en esta nueva emisión de En Síntesis, Emma Schlott Hauer, directora de Comunicaciones y Marketing de la División de Envases Flexográficos de Kodak. Emma es responsable del desarrollo y de la ejecución de las iniciativas globales de marketing de Kodak y cuenta con más de 25 años de experiencia en la industria de la impresión. Sus años de formación académica los invirtió en roles relacionados con desarrollo técnico de productos de Kodak antes de pasar a posiciones de liderazgo en ventas y marketing. Emma ha sido responsable de los programas de marketing mundial del reconocido sistema Flexel NX desde su lanzamiento en 2008. Es graduada de la Universidad South Bank de Londres y tiene un grado en Química, Física y Ciencias de la Computación. Emma, thank you so much for uh, accepting this interview with Ellen Pack and Conversion. Thanks for being with us. Lillian, it's a pleasure as always to, uh, to talk to you and to come to Latin America. Thank you, Emma. La primera pregunta que tengo para ti es regarding the set, setting up of the, of the Flexo Press, which is a key factor to improve quality and productivity. And where are the main technical features that support Flex L and X, uh, this performance uh, for setting up the Flexo Press? Okay, so I think when it comes to setting up a Flexo Press for quality and for productivity, yes. there are really two key features, two key, t key aspects that we look at. So one is making sure that you've got the right Uh, plate dot structure, right, to be able to uh, support um, the most efficient and the most productive printing process, right? So, first of all, it's the, the, the shape of the dot structure and the ability to be able to enable uh, a printing press to print with minimum impression and maximum ink transfer, right? That's really the combination that gives the best in terms of quality and efficiency. Uh, secondly, Even more important than that is the ability to be able to do that time after time after time and to be able to have that dot structure be consistent and predictable and for the press operator to be able to rely exactly on the plate that they're getting when it's coming to press. So the ability to be able to control all of that uh, in pre-press rather than adjustments that you have to make on the press uh, brings the greatest benefits in terms of ongoing quality, consistency and productivity. Thank you. And in Drupa, Kodak launched the Flexel NX16 system. Uh, what are the main new features that this system is offering and the benefits for the labels and packaging converters? Okay. So one of the things that we've been working on for a couple of years before the launch of this system um, at Drupa was to look at um, how we could really optimize uh, the plate surface to enable what I was talking about before, this ability to be able to print with minimal impression and most efficient ink transfer. And so some of the things that we introduced as part of Flex LNX System 16 uh, at Drupa is our new advanced uh, plate patterning technology. So advanced DigiCap NX plate, um, plate patterning, which enables us to be able to optimize the ink transfer on a Flexo press Um, in order to support that particular application. So it's really, think about it as customized plate surface patterning in order to get the best print condition for the particular application that you're printing. So we're only able to do this through the um, ability of the Flex LNX system to image incredibly fine, predictable patterns on the surface of a plate. And so we introduced in Flex LNX System 16 a range of advanced patterns that allows us to choose a customized pattern for that particular print application. And embedded in that, um, uh, those new advanced patternings, Um, a particular te technology called advanced edge definition technology, which is something that's only possible with Kodak technology and which is a technology that allows printers to keep print clean and printing fast while giving you minimal impression and maximum ink transfer. What, what has been the acceptance of this advantage uh, technology from the packaging label converters? Yeah, so I think we've seen, um, first of all, when we bring a product to market, we make sure that we do a lot of testing beforehand. So when we came to market with this product at Drupa, we'd already been out and tested, obviously, this technology um, in a wide variety of applications um, with incredibly, incredibly good responses from customers in all applications from, I have to say, from label printing through to flexible packaging, but also through to corrugated applications as well. So these, these technologies are not um, just applicable to, let's say, flexible packaging, but can be applied across the broad range of applications. Of course. 
Emma, another question I want to ask is how much do you think the NX system is contributing to uh, production efficiency for competitors? So I think that there are two key um, uh, factors when it comes to production efficiency. Um, we've already talked a little bit about setup times. Yes. Um, run lengths are getting shorter and so setup times become very important in terms of uh, driving the efficiency. Yes. Um, but really the most important thing from a printer's perspective um, is the efficiency overall of their press, right? It's the yield that they're getting uh, from their press. And uh, really what FlexLNX technology enables and what we've seen um, at printers all around the world um, is through the, the, the dot structure we have on the plate, through the way in which we're able to optimize that with all the other uh, components within the press, um, is a demonstrated ability for printers to be able to run their presses faster, run their presses with reduced amount of downtime, and that really comes from um, a need to stop less frequently to be able to clean the plate, for example. Um, and all of those things together are really helping printers to increase the overall um, amount of uptime that they have on their press. You think about a print operation, the most valuable investment that a printer has is their press, right? Definitely. That's where they make their money, is on press. So the ability to be able to speed it up, to be able to increase the volume that they're putting through that press, to be able to stop the press less frequently, um, to be able to stop the press less frequently, to have to make uh, color changes, to be able to make adjustments. All of these things go together to really, really improve the overall uh, yield and efficiency of a printing press. Is really what's at the heart of why um, square spot imaging technology and the other Kodak technology really makes for um, a more efficient print process. Thank you, Emma. And, and on the prepare side of the technology sits a screening technology named Kodak Maxtone SX. Could you explain how does it work and what, what are its main benefits? Yeah, absolutely. So Maxtone SX is a hybrid screening, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hybrid screens are used to, in Flexo, um, I'm sure you're familiar, you know, when you try and print uh, very small dots mm -hmm. in Flexo, when you try and print smooth transitions, um, fades to zero, yes. uh, the typical flexo hard break that you yes. get where you're just not able to print the dots anymore. Yes. So um, Maxtone SX is a new algorithm for hybrid screening that really enables you to have a very, very smooth transition um, as you make those fades to zero. Um, and it's really a combination of two things. One is the screening algorithm itself. Yes. Um, but secondly, is it's used together with the FlexLNX plate technology. Um, a screening algorithm is only as good as the plate technology that you use it with. So it's really FlexLNX's capability to be able to hold very small minimum dots yes. and the combination of Maxtone SX screening which enables you to make that very smooth transition without the hard breaks and without the, um, the other imaging artifacts that you sometimes get when you try and fade to zero. Wonderful, Emma. How does a flex LNX system reduce the environmental impact of flexo printing compared to conventional? So I think when you start to think about the environmental impact of, of a plate making system, yes. often you start to think about it in terms of what's the impact for pre-press. Of course, okay? yes. Mm -hmm. The important thing when we think about the environmental impact of what a plate can do is to be able to stand back and look at really the big picture in terms of printing. If you look at the whole printing process, the biggest environmental impact in the printing process happens in the press room, right? Yes, yes. It happens in the waste that's produced in terms of uh, substrate waste and ink. It happens in terms of the energy that's used to run the press. And so the, the biggest impact that a plate can have on the environmental um, aspects of printing is the ability of that plate, right, to really drive production, efficiency improvements in the press room. And that's how FlexLNX really helps printers achieve their sustainability goals. It helps because of the predictability, it helps to be able to reduce setup times. Reducing setup times reduce waste. It helps uh, printers to be able to reduce the number of colors that they're printing in a job. You reduce the number of colors, you reduce the number of plates, you reduce the amount of ink that you use, you improve your environmental sustainability. And I think the other part of that is just the ability to be able to use fewer plates in general, right? If you can provide a plate that lasts longer, right, it means fewer remakes. So all of these aspects go together for how FlexLNX plates really help a printer improve their environmental footprint. 
And do you see that the labels and packaging converters at the moment are more and more interested in, in this sustainability issue? Yes, absolutely. I mean, they're getting pressures, uh, you know, it comes all the way through the chain, right? So there's pressures on the brands from consumers, right, to have more environmental packaging. And that means that the brands are putting pressures uh, on their suppliers, on printers, to be able to do everything that they can for um, environmental sustainability. And, and we often think about that in terms of you know, environmentally responsible substrates or yes. biodegradable films yes. or things like yes. that. But really a huge impact on sustainability comes from production efficiencies, production. right? So reducing waste in the process, uh, maximizing the amount of, en um, minimizing the amount of energy that you use in the process, those things have a huge impact on the ultimate um, sustainability of the, the full life cycle of a product. Definitely. Can current users of the FlexLN system upgrade it? Yes, absolutely. In fact, upgradability is um, fundamental to our philosophy for FlexLNX. Mm -hmm. So um, when we first introduced FlexLNX eight years ago, every single customer that's bought a FlexLNX system since then has been able to take advantage of all new features that we've brought to the market. So what that means is that you know, inherent in the FlexLNX system is that square spot imaging technology, is those high resolution capabilities. And what we're doing little by little as we introduce new features is we're really unlocking those capabilities. So this ability for us to be able to do things like advanced patterning, using the advanced edge definition technology, those are all using those core capabilities of the square spot imaging technology. Um, and we're enabling our customers to be able to, yes, unlock those, upgrade their systems uh, without having to invest in new hardware, right? Which is, you know, in this market, minimizing your investment, really sort of maximizing that return on their investment to be able to get the best out of uh, their equipment, I think is, is key as far as customers are concerned. When, when will the Latin American converters have access to the Flexel NX implementation and certification process? So we recognize that as we bring uh, new technologies to market and as we start to get into really sort of the advanced implementation of uh, what we can do with Flexo printing, is that together with that comes a real need not just to provide the technology, but to be able to provide some of the implementation services, right, that help a printer make those moves. Um, to be able to implement the, uh, the technology that we're providing. So we are in the process of developing, um, and in fact, with some of the Latin American customers, um, an understanding of what's it really gonna take for us to help a printer maximize uh, the technology that we're providing them. And then once they can um, uh, implement it in their premises, how can we then certify that they've done that in the right way, that they've done it in a way that's predictable and that they can provide an assurance to their customers. So we're going through the process of developing some of those implementation services uh, and certification programs right now. Some Latin American customers are involved in those, um, but it's going to be more into, uh, into 2017 before we're ready to roll those out in a wide way. And how is this certification tool going to help them to compete in global markets? Yeah, so I think, look, global markets are all about, if you talk to the brands about what do they want, right? The brands want consistency. More yes. than anything else, they want yes. consistency. Yes. So yes, we talk a lot about quality and about shelf impact and all those things are very, very important to a brand. But more important than that is that they need it to be consistent, consistent. right? And as you get into this global market, then um, the ability for a product to be able to sit on the shelf in Latin America, in Asia, in Europe, and keep that global brand consistency becomes more and more important. So um, all tools that we can help printers um, uh, work with brands to um, drive consistency and predictability of their brand colors and their brand experience worldwide, right, are all the things that are gonna help us move towards a more sort of global, global market for packaging. Emma, you have more than 25 years of experience in the printing industry and also you have a, you, you have a, a grade in, in, uh, in printing. Um, what would you say today is the most exciting thing is, is happening regarding the printing uh, of packaging yeah. sector? So, so I think that the, uh, look, the most in exciting thing about uh, printed packaging for me at the moment is that it's, first of all, look, it's a growing market, right? It so. It has, it's got a, um, uh, a growing market with uh, multiple technologies involved in the production of it. 
Um, I think there's also, it's an incredibly dynamic time for what's yes. happening specifically in Flexo. Right? If you look around at uh, many of the other print processes, they're very mature, right? If you look at the amount of innovation that's happening, uh, it's no way on a level with what's happening in the Flexo industry. And so when you look at just the pace at which technology is moving, um, and I think sometimes that's very difficult for customers, right? Because yes. things are moving so quickly. Yes. Um, but it makes it a very, very exciting uh, uh, arena to be in and um, something that Kodak plans to be part of for a considerable time in the future. Thank you so much, Emma. This has been brilliant. Thanks yeah. a lot. Welcome. Nice to talk to you, Lillian. Thanks.